Hey guys, Bows the Carriga here, and today I have some awesome Super Robot War Z3 Tengoku Hen news to bring to you. We got new mechs for Crow, Ran, and Sesiko, and you know how much I love my mechs, so I am giddy like a schoolgirl. So, as usual, what I'm going to do is give you the basic rundown of what we know about these mechs, and after that I'm going to give you my personal opinion on each. So here we go. Starting off, Sesiko and the Virgola Glory S. Her new mech has been powered up by Cyreal Engineers. Hmm. And it has far more mobility, and the gunnery carver has been modified to boost the power of her sphere. Moving on to Crow and the Lee Blaster T. It's a hybrid of his previous type R and B, and is basically close range and long range in one. And finally, Ran in the Gun Leon Magna. Now, the Gun Leon Magna is not new, but what's new is that you can now stay in the Magna form as a standard mode for the mech. So, rewinding my thoughts back to Setsuko. The most interesting thing about this, Sai Real Engineers? They powered up her mech. If you don't remember who they are, they are the organization that the crab guy belongs to at the end of Z3 Part 1. You know, the dude that oft was her face, like brutally, the last lady from Geminis. So, I'm really interested if some of them are good and some of them are evil, like it's split down the middle just like Advent's group. But who knows, I guess we'll have to wait and see. Just really interesting because maybe, who knows, maybe she was captured and they powered up her mech and she escaped. But we shall have to find out. Now, Crow and the new Blaster. Design-wise, I freaking love it. This thing just screams power. I love that it's bulky like the Type R. I never liked the way the Type B looked because it was just skinny and kind of powerless looking, but whatever. But yes, this thing screams power. That giant laser on his um, right arm, bulky shield on the left, these big ass thrusters on his back, and that giant leg armor. Can't wait to see what sick things this thing can do. And finally, my boy Rand in the Gun Leon Magna. Now, you might think I'm kind of disappointed that the Gun Leon doesn't have a real new upgrade, but no. I love the Gun Leon. The Gun Leon Magna is one of my favorite mechs. Bit of a spoiler alert for a video I'm working on. I'm working on my top 10 mechs of all time video, and you better believe Gun Leon is on that list. I've always loved the Gun Leon Magna transformation and the fact that I can now use it as a standard mode, you know he's always going to be on my deployment list. And the only protagonist missing is Hibiki and the Genion, but the Genion doesn't really need an upgrade because the Genion guy is already sick as it is, just gave it a couple more attacks and I'm happy. But for the information we got today, or technically yesterday, I love it, I love it, I love it. I want Ban Presta to go all out with this last game in the Z series, and it looks like they're doing that. So, those are my thoughts on these three mechs. What are your thoughts? Do you like them? Are you kind of eh on them? Give me your thoughts in the comments. I'd love to hear it. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.